Hi, my name is Priya Matthews. I'm the cornea, cataract, and LASIK specialist here at Florida Eye Specialist and Cataract Institute. Today I'm going to talk about keratoconus. The cornea is a round structure that's clear in the front of our eyes, and it's used to bend the light rays that are coming into our eye in a certain direction so that it hits our retina for us to be able to see clearly. Keratoconus is a condition when the cornea is no longer like a basketball. Instead, it starts to become thin and bulge out, almost like a cone. This is a progressive condition, and what happens is that the light rays that are now coming in are distorted and not hitting the retina at the proper angle. Therefore, that causes our vision to become very blurry. Unfortunately, this disease continues to get worse um, over a person's lifetime, and it's usually in both eyes, although often one eye is worse than the other. If you have keratoconus, or if your doctor suspects you have a keratoconus, you'd first be sent to me for an evaluation. At that time, I would take different pictures of your cornea and measure the prescription of your glasses to understand uh, the shape of your cornea. Corneal crosslinking is a relatively new procedure which is now offered to patients with keratoconus. Back in the day, we used to have to watch patients with keratoconus um, and see that their disease kept getting worse and worse, and at some point we would offer them a corneal transplant. Now with corneal crosslinking, we have a way to actually halt, or at the very least, slow down the progression of this disease. The basic concept of corneal crosslinking is using a solution called riboflavin and combining it with UV light to strengthen the bonds in the cornea to make it stronger. If the cornea is stronger, then it won't continue to bulge out. This procedure involves three main steps. Step number one is removing the corneal epithelium because the riboflavin solution has to penetrate. This takes less than a minute. The next 30 minutes, the riboflavin solution is applied to the surface of the eye every two minutes for a total of 30 minutes. The last 30 minutes, the same thing is done where the riboflavin solution is applied to the surface of the eye every two minutes, but in addition, there's the UV light that's also placed right above the patient's eye so actively those covalent bonds are being formed. After the end of the procedure, we put a contact lens on to allow the corneal epithelium to regrow in the days to come. The reason why this procedure is so important to me is because we usually do it on young people and because of this procedure, they're able to halt their keratoconus disease get contact lenses afterwards, and have visions that they've never experienced before. 